Congratulations on your purchase of the Drill Doctor Drill Bit Sharpener, the easiest and fastest way to keep your bits as sharp as new. Drill Doctor features a patented design that sharpens bits with the same motion used when bits are first made. And this design is so precise that bits can be sharpened hundreds of times. All Drill Doctor models sharpen standard twist and masonry bits from 3 30 seconds to 1 half inch. Your Model 350X features an on-chuck alignment system for quick, precise sharpening. Stay tuned to learn how to use your Drill Doctor to keep your bits factory sharp. Stay tuned. The following tape includes sharpening demonstrations, a tour of the parts that make your Drill Doctor work, Specific demonstrations showing how to sharpen small bits, large bits, and masonry bits. And cleaning instructions to keep your Drill Doctor running smoothly. How to sharpen with Drill Doctor. Two simple steps will sharpen any bit. First, you align the bit. This makes sure that Drill Doctor creates the right geometry. And it sets the bit so that only a small amount of the tip is taken off. Then, you sharpen the bit. Now, watch as a bit is aligned, then sharpened. That's all there is to sharpening bits with Drill Doctor. A tour of the Drill Doctor. The key parts to the Drill Doctor are the chuck with onboard alignment and the sharpening port. This is the chuck. It has chuck jaws that hold the bit, the chuck knob that tightens the chuck, the chuck cams that create the sharpening motion, the sharpening guides or the white lines for sharpening, and the triangles for alignment. This is the cam guide. This is the sharpening port. Note how the sharpening port rocks back and forth. And this is the diamond sharpening wheel. This is the cover you remove to replace the sharpening wheel. Detailed demonstrations. Step one, alignment. First, hold the chuck so that the triangle is facing up. Insert the bit into the chuck fingers and leave about one half inch of the bit sticking out. Tighten the chuck just to the point where the bit is snug, but can still be slid in and out. Rotate the drill bit in the chuck so that the leading edge of the flute is against the finger. This aligns the bit for accurate sharpening. To set the drill bit depth for sharpening, match the triangle on the chuck with a cam guide on the sharpening port. Insert the chuck into the port while keeping the chuck against the cam guide. Push the chuck all the way in and tighten the chuck knob. Remove and tighten once more so the bit won't move when you sharpen it. Step 2. Sharpen. Insert the chuck and align the white line with the cam guide. Now rotate the chuck one half turn in a clockwise motion. Turn white line to white line an even number of times. About six half turns for a quarter inch bit and 16 to 20 turns for a 3 eighths inch bit. Remove the bit and inspect the tip. When sharpening, listen carefully to the sound your drill doctor makes. Note that you should direct light pressure into the sharpening hole, not down. And always make sure that the chuck rests firmly against the cam guide as you turn the chuck. This causes the sharpening port to rock back and forth and shapes your bit for the best cutting. Sharpening small bits. A few quick pointers will help you sharpen smaller bits more successfully. First, align the bit as normal. Now, sharpen the small bit, but use very light pressure and fewer white line to white line rotations. The bit should only briefly contact the wheel.
Note that it is okay for the chuck fingers to come in contact with the sharpening wheel. This will not damage the chuck. Sharpening large bits. Large bits are sharpened just like any other bit. It is important to sharpen these bits so that the entire face of the drill bit is sharpened. A large bit will require more white line to white line rotations. A one half inch bit will need a minimum of 20 half turns. Sharpening masonry bits. Masonry bits are sharpened using a plunge action. To align the bit, make sure the carbide insert is lined up on the tip of the chuck fingers. Tighten the chuck. Line up the triangle on the chuck with a cam guide. Push or plunge the chuck into the sharpening port until it touches the wheel. Rotate one half turn to the opposing triangle and repeat plunge action. Inspect the bit, then sharpen more if needed. Cleaning. Your drill doctor is a precision tool and should be cleaned periodically to remove dust and grit that can wear down the ports and the chucks. The following process takes approximately five minutes and should be done after every 20 bits you sharpen. You will need to clean the chuck, the sharpening port, and the sharpening wheel area. Unplug your drill doctor before beginning. To clean around the sharpening wheel, use a dry brush to remove dust particles from around the wheel. To clean the ports, wipe the inside and outside of each with a dry cloth to remove any grinding dust, or vacuum with a one-inch vacuum hose. A clean chuck will prevent bits from slipping out of alignment during sharpening. To clean, blow compressed air through the chuck to remove grinding dust. Your diamond sharpening wheel will wear down over time and will need to be replaced. Consult your user's guide for complete instructions on how to replace the wheel. At Drill Doctor, we want to ensure that you are fully satisfied with your product. Consult your user's guide and our website for additional information and contact numbers. Thank you for buying the Drill Doctor.